guys, good afternoon. This is Faith with Elegance for Less. Thank you so much for joining me today on this quick DIY. So let's jump right in. You will need two of the Dollar Tree foam. You'll need two of the Tea Light Dollar Tree holders and they come four in a pack, which makes it an excellent buy. You can create two of them as a gift. You will need some paint, and this is just the multi-purpose uh, surface paint. You can get it from Walmart, you can get it from the Dollar Tree, many different places. You will need a cookie cutter, or the Dollar Tree sells them as well. I have one here I can share. I decided not to use this one because it seemed a little bit larger. But it's just up to you how large you want your heart to be. I want to go with a smaller one, so I'm gonna go with that. You can also haul yours from the Dollar Tree. You'll need your scissors, razor, your glue sticks, glue gun, and I believe I want to go with diamond wrap. Because I'm doing the black paint, I'm gonna go with the diamond, black diamond wrap. You also need a paintbrush. As I forgot to mention, you will need some form of base. So I'm going with two pieces of cardboard. They're awfully thick, but I'm going to glue them together to make my base for this first DIY to sit on. And I'm purposely not telling you what it is I'm making at this moment. So what we want to do is line up both foam and determine how short you want for it to be. Separated your foam. I'm gonna go ahead and start by hot gluing. Now I must mention that the piece that I cut off is going to be at the bottom. And the reason why is so that I have it balanced. So I want to go ahead and start with gluing my cardboard down. So we're going to put a generous amount of glue. Once you have cut your foam, you want to line them up and then you want to take the cookie cutter and place it however way you want it to go. I think I would like to have um, majority going over to the larger one.
cut a hole out and I want to show you how I did that. So the tea light holder, I am going to place on top, make sure it's even on both sides. And then take a pen and trace. Just outline the bottom of the tea light holder. Okay, just like that. Then you're going to take your razor and you're just going to go all the way around. This is the hole. I went ahead and insert my glass just to make sure it fits really well and snug. And I like the way that that feels. So these are the holes. And now I want to go ahead and hot glue my base on. So just go ahead and add a generous amount of glue to the bottom of your foam. I am loving the way that this is turning out. I hope you do as well. And I now want to go ahead and add some glitter on it. Originally, I was going to just put diamond wrap, but I think I just want diamond wrap on the bottom of it and continue with the glitter. So this is the Dollar Tree pack of glitter. They come in different colors. I'm gonna go with the silver, the white, the black, and the dark silver. It's like a charcoal silver. And I want to combine it in one container. So I'm going to go ahead and add all four along with, go ahead and apply my Mod Podge and then add my glitter. Come back and show you what it looks like when I add my diamond wrap. glue that in if you want to or you can leave it as is. I'm going to go ahead place it on the table with the candle and let you take a good look at it. I absolutely love the way that this candle holder turned out. I think it's perfect for Mother's Day gift or a gift for a friend. Let me know what your thoughts are on this. Is this something you'd create for your home or give as a Mother's Day gift? Thank you guys so much. I look forward to hearing from you and I will see you on my next DIY.